Good morning, everybody. Uh, I got another video for today. Uh, I wasn't planning on today, actually. I was planning on doing some other things, taking the day off since I was out on a nice big snowshoe hike yesterday with the girlfriend. Uh, but today we were blessed with a third very mild day here in Montreal. So I decided to come out to my one of my favorite places, if not the most favorite place around Montreal, Ile St. Bernard. It's a pretty large, uh, eight kilometer loop for our walking trail that goes around the perimeter of it. Uh, and it's here in Chateauguay, this place protected. Um, so there's no illegal nonsense like some places I know. Um, so there's no trapping. Uh, you have to stay on your designated trails. Uh, and it's all the, for the most part, from what I know, and the money that you pay to get in kind of goes to taking care of this area and the wildlife. Super big in terms of like a wildlife sanctuary. A lot of, a lot of migratory bird, birds live here. Um, there are some fox, there's deer, there's all kinds of things. Um, with the milder temperatures that we've been having, I decided I'm going to come out and see what I can get. Apparently on eBird and Audubon, there was a lot of traffic here yesterday in terms of birds and animals, so I'm going to try my luck. Um, before we get too far into the video, I want to say thank you, thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome, enjoy my content. Uh, the last video, all you guys left ton of positive feedback on my last video, uh, so I really thank you all. Uh, I will have more with the milder temperatures and spring on its way. I will have more, I'll have more time to get out uh, and actually get more content. I've just been really, really busy with work and just life. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump into it. You will see more of this place come spring, come summer. I know that I will be literally almost living, living here. I'll be coming here after work. I'll be coming here maybe before work, uh, but this place is awesome. So if you guys wanna see some of the stuff and you live in the area, come to Ile St. Bernard and it's just about uh, 50 minutes from Montreal. Anyways guys, enjoy the video. Guys, how cool was that pelated woodpecker? I know some of you who watch my channel uh, live out west, either in Canada or in the US, and you guys don't really have these, and when you see them, it's a huge event. While we have lots of them here out east, it's still an event, it's still awesome to watch. The way that their little tongue actually comes out and it just goes all the way into the hole that they've made or the hole of the insect, it just extracts them, is so cool to watch. I wish I had a camera, my RP can shoot faster than 60 frames a second, like 120, uh, which it doesn't, 
um, because I could slow it down, show you the tongue coming out, grabbing the insect, and coming out. It would have been so cool to show you guys. Uh, but you're gonna have to take my word for it, it's really awesome. Um, yeah, quite the find of woodpeckers here today, guys. Wet red bellies, which is something we're supposed to have lots of, but I've only seen a few since I've been getting into wildlife photography. Plibs, I see quite a bit, but they're so awesome, like I said. Uh, and then we've got your typical downies and your hairy woodpeckers, which are some of my favorites. I know they're common birds, but I love to see them. So, I'm also very sorry for all the wind. I am on the north side of the island and because like I said earlier in the video we are going through like a very warm period uh, because of that there is a lot of wind happening because of the cold ground and the warm air so I'm gonna hopefully get around to the other side of the island where the wind will, will not be as intense because uh, I did review some of my video clips and they are pretty brutal on the on the uh, the wind but I am working on getting an external mic for both the well, my phone I'm shooting on as well as something I can put on my RP so I can get just clearer better sound so it is a work in progress but I do have a lot of other gear that I need to purchase so it's one at a time All right guys, so the sun has poked out. It's getting very bright because it's reflecting off the snow and I didn't leave with sunglasses, so this will have to do for now. <laughs> um, I'm only halfway through my journey for the day and it's definitely quieter on this side in terms of like action with other people and it's a little quieter also or not as noisy with the wind. Um, and I'm also coming up on the large marshes that this place has um, since it's also really well known for marshes in the november when i was it was november or i think it was october i was here i saw blue herons i saw my belt the kingfisher which guys you will see i will be getting a super clean photo and video of that guy uh, this season he is on my my list of birds um oh man it's very bright uh yeah, I saw a lot of that. Uh, there are plenty of other like herons from what I've heard. Um, my, my other goal is to also get a green heron. I've seen a few online and from photos and they look super cool. Um, so I'm gonna grab some of those this year, but there won't be any right now. Yeah, so continue on. Let's see what I can find. It's not as busy as I thought um, considering all the birds I saw spotted on eBird yesterday here but you know what I'll take it I'm out I'm enjoying it's plus four it's uh March 1st actually too on top of that so I can't really complain guys I'm outside enjoying nature so of course I spoke too soon in the last clip and well I can't show you right now because uh, there's a big tree that's fallen down in the way. Let me see if I can move on a little bit closer. So through that clearing back there, there is a ton of, I would say a ton actually. There's probably one, two, three, four, what's seven common mergansers because there's some water that's exposed, that's melted. I really can't get a clear shot. I tried to, tried to focus on them with the 800 and it's all greeny even with uh, even with you know almost 100 ISO, it's not doing so good because of the the contrast with the the bright light we have right now. So you're gonna have to take my word for it that there's mergansers out there. But on another day, I will come back and uh, see what I can get.
right guys, so I'm at the marsh. Um, I'm hiding behind these reeds here because it is so crazy windy because basically, like I was saying before, with the difference in temperatures, oh my gosh, it's the difference in temperatures is causing a lot of wind. Plus the fact that there's really no leaves on the trees because we're still, well, we're March 1st. So if I hop out of this clearing here, I'll show you what I'm talking about because it's, <laughs> it's pretty mad. Like. I'm watching crows get blown around in this stuff, um, so I'm pretty sure no little chickadee or any other small bird is going to want to play in the wind. So give me one second to come out of here. Yeah, so all this behind me for right now is all marshland. Check that out. So. And it's very windy, so if you can't hear me, I'm very, very sorry for that. But this is where I saw all the heron last time. It's also where I saw the belted kingfisher, and I'm for sure gonna see a whole bunch more. There's all kind of markings that there are beaver here. I know this because all the trees have this fence-like material around it with the chew marks. Ah, uh, here, check it out. You got chew marks like that. So it's a pretty active place. Um, so I'm not going to show you too much heat clips here because they're, you're not going to really be able to hear me. So I just want to show you what you guys got to look forward to come, uh, come this spring. Hey guys, so I made it back to the car. Um, basically from the last clips you guys saw, the wind really picked up and I made it through the marsh area. Uh, there wasn't much action going on, so I thought to myself, you know what, I'm just going to end it back at the car. I really didn't see anything other than the fact that I kind of went to explore off the path a little bit and I fell through like a, the deep snow. I didn't fall in a hole or anything, but it was just some of the snow was on one spot with compact and the other side wasn't. I fell through and I pulled something in my leg, so I kind of had to limp more or less back to the car. I'm okay, I think. I'm gonna rest when I get home, um, but for the time being, um, yeah, I'm I'm not feeling perfect. I can tell you that. So I'm gonna rest up because I have work tomorrow, and I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, but I had a great day, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, I want to reiterate that I want to thank everyone who are new subscribers to my channel. I also want to say thank you to everyone who's left comments. Um, you know, it, it, reading your comments, really interacting with you guys, and seeing some of you actually come over to my Instagram and say the same thing to me really means a lot. Um, and I never knew that anyone would love to see and listen to what I had to say since, you know, why would anyone have to? I don't know why they would. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you, like always, can you give me a thumbs up? Give it a subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and share this with your friends. See you around in the next video, guys. Peace.